Hi, Anne Emery here. I wanted to share with you something that I was working on just today. This is the very first draft of a state level profile. There are going to be 65 matching state level dashboards for states, tribal areas, territories. This is the first draft, so go easy on me with the formatting. But here's the part that I wanted to share with you is the automation. So check out what happens when I select the next state name from my drop down menu. All of the percentages recalculate themselves and update. All of the bar charts uh, re display themselves without me having to do any copying and pasting. So I get to make one template in Excel and then I save that as a PDF for each of my matching profiles. And my favorite part, it's not the bar charts, I've done that a million times before, it's these checkboxes at the bottom. Uh, I knew this was possible, I had the idea in my head for a long time, but I didn't have a project that I could actually use it for until just now, just like an hour ago, and I got to use it for the very first time. So I'm very excited for a Friday afternoon. Now I made these with the if statement in Excel. I'll click on the cell so you can take a peek uh, at the formula bar. I pulled in data from my aggregated data tables, which pulled in data from my spreadsheets. And if there was a Y in my spreadsheet, Y for yes, that's just how the data was coded in the spreadsheet, then I had it show a G in that cell. And not just any G, but a webdings G, which appears as a filled in square. And if it wasn't a Y, then I had it fill in as a C, which is a webdings empty square. Pretty darn convenient. So I wanted to share these tricks with you. Hopefully you can apply them in your own projects. Happy graphing.